Hi there, it's Cliff Rosa with Rosa Media Productions and I am just giving a quick tutorial on how to add background images to the ATEM software control. I, uh, if you're looking at this, you probably recently uh, got a studio set up at your school by me and I gave you a training and this is to help support you on how to add images to that chroma key backdrop that we put together. All right, so let's go ahead and pop over to the, uh, there we go, display capture. Better get that off the screen because it's a little hard to watch that cascading thing. Okay, uh, so we're in the ATEM television studio, but down here at the bottom, remember the panel that talks about media, okay? We're going to click on that media panel. Here's our media pool. You can see I've got a couple images in there already. Grand Canyon, Joshua Tree. Uh, how I created those, you need to create them to be 1080 by, um, 1080 by 19, 1920. So the way I do that is I use Keynote, which is free on the Mac. Now you can see I already have it open down here, but Keynote, it's a slideshow uh, creator. So I oh, get Keynote up. I, I've got it kind of pinched down because I like to be able to see around the edges. And what you're going to do is you're going to drop a uh, picture onto your slide. Now, I, I generally like to create new slides, but you, you can just do it on the same old slide. Click Add a Slide. It doesn't really matter too much which uh, slide I choose because I'm going to just drop a picture over the top of it. Now, I've downloaded a few pictures earlier. These are just FYI, these are my own pictures I took with my own cameras uh, and so I don't have to worry about copyright infringement but if you guys find images online you do want to go ahead and add copyright uh, like the URL that you found it and uh, give proper attribution. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and take this one here and drop it on the slide. Um, what I do is I just drag it to go to the edge. Yes, in Keynote you noticed that correctly. All, if you drag on any of the edges it actually moves, uh, it keeps the aspect ratio the same. And so there's a, uh, there's a little shot. Now uh, notice there's nothing around, no, no black or white showing around the edges. I'm going to click play. Play button's right up here. Click play and now that fills up the screen completely. Take a screenshot, a full screen screenshot, which is Command Shift 3. Takes that, makes that nice little chick chick shutter sound. Press Escape so I can get back to work here. And I'm going to find that screenshot on the desktop. Now there's more than one way to get to the desktop. One would, way would be to press Function F11 most Macs that's going to reveal the desktop. I'll use that one this time. And uh, you can see there it is. There's my screenshot and it's named something very intuitive called screenshot with the date and time. How about if I click on that and then give it another click just so I can edit the title and I'm going to call it um, Forest with Camcorder. That was a day I was doing a little nature videography. I found a cool orb weaver out in, out in the woods. Okay, so now I've got my, uh, I've got my uh, screenshot there with a name that I actually could recognize. And I'm going to go ahead and drop that into that ATEM switcher pool. Okay, uh, now here's, here's one way to do it. I, I just drag the... Uh, the shot over here over the ATEM switcher software icon in the dock and then that pulls up the ATEM switcher software I hover over the ATEM switcher software uh, that pops up and I'm gonna go right over this see, see how it's giving me the little plus sign there let me see will it will it show that see the little plus sign I mean it's ready to add it if I'm here it doesn't have that okay and I'm gonna release Oops, I messed around too much. <laughs> it's actually trying to scroll right now. Oh, press escape. 
That is not working. No. Okay, it just it just had to think about it for a while. If you're doing a few too many things at the same time. All right. So now I've got a couple of different backgrounds. If I want to drop them into the media players, which are the the backgrounds of the uh, of the chroma key, I just drag and drop them into there. And now I've got a different uh, in my two media player slots. And the media player slots are what you actuate with these two buttons here. There's the ones in program and preview. Right now I'm not using either one of them. I'm just using camera one and two. And I'm actually using screen capture with OBS right this second. Okay. Uh, oh, I wanted to show you another way to be able to get to that desktop, and that would be using the Finder. You just click the Finder icon here. Click Generally, if you do that, it's going to pull up a window, and uh, typically desktop will be in your list here on the left-hand side. If you click Desktop there, you'll see all of your items here. And Now, none of them say Screenshot. Why don't, why don't we do one more just so we'll get to do the whole process? So, here's Keynote. I'm going to add a new slide to Keynote. Then I'm going to go to my Downloads folder. And let's see here. Ah, here's a studio image. I'm going to drop the studio image in there. I'm going to make it drag it full screen. This way I can chroma key myself over a, a, a chroma key studio image. It's sort of funny. Click Play. Now it's full screen. Command Shift 3 to take a full screen screenshot. Press Escape. This time I'm going to go straight to Finder. Okay, click on Finder here. And notice in my choices, right now I've got one that says Screenshot. It gives me a nice little preview there. I can also press the space bar to see a preview. Oh, that's a nice big picture. At any rate, I'm going to just click Studio. All right, I'm going to click on the title and then type in the word Studio. And now I'm going to drag and drop that down into my ATEM Switcher Media Pool. It loads. And I can now drag and drop that and replace media player one. Boom. And I'm good to go. All right. I'm going to start wrapping up this little episode. Uh, let me see here. Okay. <laughs> I needed to make sure I was, get, I was getting the feed the, from the actual Blackmagic design. Okay, so that's how you do, that's how you put a background into your, your uh, media switcher pool. Um, if you've got any questions, of course, feel free to connect with me in uh, one of my social media places. I'll, I'll just uh, tell you. I'm probably the most active in social media on YouTube, surprise, surprise. Second most would be uh, Twitter. Of course, if you're a customer or you want to be a customer, uh, just reach out to me via email at uh, cliff at rosamediaproductions.com and uh, I'd be happy to support you in your implementation or um, yeah, help you get completely set up and trained on how to run one of these yourself. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up our uh, program. Thank you so much for your kind attentions.